What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray. And I'm back with another Gamecock News update. And right now, we have another coach that apparently has left for Auburn. Tracy Rocker, which was our D-line coach. She was only here for a year after his contract was approved, left to go to Auburn. We're going to talk a little bit about this. But before I do, please subscribe if you like the content that you see. And also hit the notification bell. The notification bell will allow you to know every time I drop a video. And also, if you like or dislike the video, it doesn't really matter to me. Just like it. Let YouTube know that you like this content. Let's keep going, man. So, we're going to read the state. Multiple outlets has confirmed. So, we're going to read this real quick. Tracy Rocker coach to lead South Carolina reports say. So, South Carolina football is back on the market for an assistant coach. As de defensive line coach Tracy Rocker has reportedly left the Gamecock staff. The departure reported by the Locked on the Gamecock podcast football scoop and the Big Spur leads head coach Shane Beamer without two assistant spots now to fill at offensive and defensive line. Rocker was one of the four coaches initially retained from Will Muschamp's staff by Beamer when he took over as head coach of the program in December. That led a report that Rocker is now in contention to joining Arbor staff, where he was an All-American lineman and won the Outland and Lombardi trophies. If Rocker does go to Auburn, he'll be reunited with offensive coordinator Mike Bobo, who was also rehired at USC before leaving to take the OC job at Auburn. Offensive line coach Will Friend was also hired at South Carolina and stayed just a few weeks before heading to Auburn. The U.S. Board of Trustees approved this new contract for Bobo, Friend, and Rock's Rocker last week. Rocker gave the USC December 2020, excuse me, February 2020, hired by Muschamp to help develop a talented defensive line unit. The Gamecocks were his six different stop in the SEC, preceded by Tennessee, Georgia, Auburn, Ole Miss, and Arkansas. On the Rock, a South Carolina defense line featured seven veterans in Kerr, Thomas, Aaron Sterling, and Jabari Ellis, in addition to a blue chip backup in Zach Pickens, Tonka Hemingway, and Alex Huntley. The unit have a struggle at times, Opponents averaged 195.4 rushing yards per game and 4.9 yards per attempt. Both bottom three marks in the SEC and outside the top nationally, 90 nationally. The game clock averaged 1.4 sacks per game, tied for 109th nationally, second to last in the SEC. So let's get back into this, man. Let's talk about this real quick uh, before I go any further. Um, am I surprised, man? I, I, I think I said this in a video and I say this again. Uh, no, because right now you have to pull weeds. And this is no example. You know, in the, in the garden bed, you have weeds, you have nice flowers. And sometimes you got to pull the weeds out before it sucks out all the energy and the nutrition out from the, the healthy plants. Now, uh, I was listening to uh, 107.5, the game in Columbia. Shout out to them. But listen to them, man, since the uh, conception in 2007, man, when I was uh, uh, out of high school going to college and I seen the billboard. I listened to them uh, all the time. And I heard the news. And uh, one thing that the, 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 the radio personality was saying, and I agree, it's like, look here. If you wasn't happy, don't take the job. Let the person know, hey, look. You know, I appreciate what you're doing, but I'm looking elsewhere. No hard feelings, no complaints. But when you tell somebody, look, I want to be here. I want to coach at South Carolina. Then you, you have to honor it. And I think that we are living in an age of time where the people's words are, aren't good at all. Uh, never mind them saying that they're uh, good coaches. We're not talking about them coaching personally or, or how they coach. We're talking about, hey, look, if you say you're going to do something, you need to do it. And the fact that we had three coaches from our staff who are now at Auburn. I'm not saying that Auburn had something to do with it or what have you, but it is very strange to me that we have a we, we have a need for offense and defensive line as far as coaching. Uh, will Shane Beamer find those two positions? Absolutely. I, I think that right now our program, uh, we just need to get back to just winning football culture and it don't mean you have to win in the first year or something like that but winning football culture means a mentality that you want to be at a situation you know people are treating Gamecock South Carolina as a second tier program like we're a division we're a division one uh, double a school 
and you know we we South Carolina is very serious when it comes to uh, the output as far as um, uh, facilities, the money is spent as far as the program. Uh, it is very serious about and dedicated to really having a good football program. And we have shown in the past, especially the last decade, that we could be a really good team and talent, and people will want to come to South Carolina. Uh, so uh, you know it's unfortunate, uh, but hey, it is what it is, man. Uh, but we want people at Gamecock Nation that wants to be at South Carolina. So let me know what you think about the comment section below. Do you think that uh, this is coincidence? Do you think that it's conspiracy? Do you think that Auburn is poaching South Carolina? <laughs> and we was 2-8. and eight. We wasn't a very good team, but you're poaching our coaches? I don't know. Uh, do you think that some of the, 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 the culture that was at South Carolina last year, do you think that's going to follow Auburn? Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Again, it's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, and please don't forget all three. Lucky Murray back with another Gamecock news update. And, yes, man, this has been a crazy week. Gamecock Nation, man, never fear because you know why? This is all going to settle down and – and I think this is going to be the best decision for us long term. Maybe not short term, but long term. Let me just think about the comment section below. But uh, until next time, people.